Hello, we're going to talk about vertical SHM, simple harmonic motion. It's also called spring mass system. So there are four positions that I'm describing here. One is without mass. And so at this position, just a spring hanging on the ceiling, hanging from the ceiling. And then here is equilibrium position. So we put a mass there and you, you gently let it down until it comes to rest. So at that position, your net force is equal to zero. So net force is equal to zero, so then you know your mg is equal to the spring force, fs, which is equal to ky zero, since your displacement from here to here is y zero. So according to Hooke's law, so this is from Hooke's law, Hooke's law, that this is ky zero. So the two are equal. So that's when the mass is in equilibrium. So the force are balanced. Now we go to the maximum expansion. So we have this mass and if we, if we pull it, okay, so we pull it, pull it down to this position. And so we pull it down for this amount, which is called A. And why do we call A? Because that's the, the beginning of vibration and that's called the amplitude. Amplitude of this particular oscillation. So this oscillation is also referring to this SHM. So in Chinese it's called zhen fu. So you, you stretch it until at this position, your hands hold it right here. So you so zhua zhu. And then you let it go. So once you let it go, it will come back to this equilibrium position, which would then have the maximum velocity. Because at that point, you have, uh, you have the um, spring potential energy uh, converted back to uh, the the uh, kinetic energy. And as you push further up, now you will slow down again until you come to this position three. Now you have the maximum compression at this point. So the compression amount right here will become, since from here, you already stretch Y zero amount. And if you go back up for the A amount here, so you know the compression will be y0 minus a, okay, so you are, you're compressing it, so we, this basically is a negative value, or you can call it a minus y0, then you know it's, it's positive, but it's going, you know, going up this way. So that's the compression location, maximum compression location. This is the maximum expansion location. And now if you take a look at the net force of this, of this position, it's equal to this Fs that's going up, and that's equal to K. What's the displacement? It's the Y0 plus the A. So it's K times that, A plus Y0. So you have this much of spring force going up, and your Mg going downward. So the net force is this one subtract that one. So you take Fs minus Ky0, but we know Ky0 it's equal to mg. So we can put, put that mg is equal to ky0. And now we have this fs here. We're gonna put this one here, right there. You can see the ky0 will cancel ky0. So now you have minus ka actually. Sorry, I think I made a mistake. This one here is, this one here is not from here, it's from here. Sorry, from here, okay, right there. So Ka plus Y0, it's not this one, okay, not that one. So A plus Y0 times K, and Ky0 and the Ky0 cancel out. So now you only have Ka left, so that's Ka now. So that's your net force at that position. And this net force will be going up because Fs is larger than Mg. So it's gonna start having acceleration going this way. And then when you come to this maximum compression location, what is the Fn? So Fn, it's equal to mg plus this one here. And this is the, this is spring force, right? This one here is a spring force. Spring force due to this compression. 
okay? All right, so actually I like to write this one as A minus Y zero to make my life easier, okay? So then this Fn right here, it's equal to what? Equal to Fs plus Mg, right? So Fs is equal to K A minus Y zero, which is Fs, and then plus Mg. So Mg and this KY zero cancel out. So then I have KA left, so this is KA now, okay? So this, net force here will be pointing down like this okay so this will be positive pointing down like that okay and right here this net force is pointing up this way and it's equal to also equal to ka so both are equal to ka one is point up one is point down so that's the situation for vertical shm and again i wrote this one here position one two three and your ke is a maximum when you are at the equilibrium position so that's the two what am I doing? Oh, sorry, the one, okay? One is the equilibrium position here. So this is equilibrium. And that's the maximum, okay? So your velocity is the maximum. Your kinetic energy is also the maximum. And in this position and that position, your velocity comes to stop. So your kinetic energy both are zero right there. And GPE, of course, right here, this GPE is the highest. So this is gravitational potential energy which is maximum, GPE maximum, not at one, right? So this is wrong. This should be S3, right? So that should be maximum right there, not at there. And at one, S3 is the minimum, GPE, right? So three is the minimum. So what am I doing? Three is the minimum, right? GPE, this is the minimum. So this is the maximum. I'm sorry about that. Three is the highest, the maximum. And then two is the minimum, right? Two is the minimum, okay? And one is in between, right? This is in between, okay? And SPE is just based on this, this uh, stretch amount, right? So SPE right here, this one here, and this one here, they both have SPE, right? Right here, you still have SPE because you have a Y zero stretch. So your SPE at this position will be one half K y zero square right and right here your stretch amount is equal to a plus y zero so your ke your spe is equal to one half k and then times this a plus y zero right so a plus y zero square okay and same thing here this is uh, k a minus y zero right so this one here spe is equal one half k and then a minus minus y zero square okay so that's your vertical shm and i'm gonna stop there and thank you for watching